everybody, welcome back to Gentle Yoga, uh, Mobility and Breathwork. I'm Rebecca Little, and today we're gonna move through a hip sequence. A lot of us hold tension in our hips from whatever activities you might do, or just maybe you always have tight hips. One really interesting I learned from um, this book I'm reading by Jill Miller, Body by Breath, it's an amazing book, um, all about hips. And I just wanted to share is that Something interesting about our hip flexors, survivors of severe trauma, sexual abuse, or accidents, um, car accidents, may have developed chronic tension in your psoas, which is like a muscle that can, is in your hip area. Um, this muscle is responsible for being a, a first responder in the case of emergencies. So the body is so interesting, it really holds on to our stories. Um, it's so complex and primal. It's a um, when the body is threatened, the psoas muscle, that it muscle that's in the hip area, will automatically initiate some sort of fetal position. When you think about a baby and how they curl up to protect themselves, it's very, um, what's the word? Um, it's a reflex. So it's just so interesting that when something happens, even as adults, that that's our reflex, that um, just as babies, that's what we did. So your body remembers to do that. So if you have tight hips and you've been through something in your life, then you're holding your tension there. And it's important to remember that when you do release your hips, if you're feeling emotional, that's what's going on there to let yourself release that. And don't be surprised if something comes up for you. Okay, so let's get centered. You, If you have a strap or something, a towel, that could be useful. I also have my eye mask because we'll finish in Savasana and that's where the video will end. But I do encourage you to spend a couple minutes there either closing your eyes or using a little eye mask, maybe some earbuds to help you drown out any chatter and help you focus on your breath. Okay, sit yourself down in a comfortable seated position, whatever's comfortable for you. Go ahead and close your eyes. We're gonna take a moment and ask ourselves, how are we feeling mentally? I'm just, let's start with physically. How are you feeling physically? Start there, I like to start there. Notice where you're tired or tight or have any pain and honor that. How are you feeling now mentally, intellectually? If there's a lot going on, and my daughter's been sick, so I am therefore so drained. <laughs> but that's why we do yoga or take some time for ourselves. Try to let that go. Let yourself focus inward. Focus on the breath and the body. Let everything else fizzle into the background. Whatever you have to do later, whatever's going on, just let it go. Put it down for right now. How are you feeling emotionally? Clearly I'm on the more emotional side today. So let's be kind to ourselves. And how are you feeling spiritually? Anything? connected to anything a little deeper than surface. And if not, allow this practice to help you connect to something deeper within. And let's put one hand on the belly, one hand on the chest and find our breath. Breathing in through the nose, push your belly and then the ribs and then the chest out. Feeling the crown of your head reach towards the ceiling, exhaling through the nose constricting the back of the throat. Listen to the sound of your breath as your chest collapses, your shoulders roll down, pull in the ribs and the, the belly, pelvic floor, get all that air out. Two more breaths like that, belly, rib cage, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Focusing on that third eye, that area right behind the forehead. Connect breath to movement. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale them down. And with every inhale, really reach those arms. Exhale them down. Good. And one more time. Good. Just exhale one arm down and do a little side bend. Reaching the arm that's up. Reach those fingertips. Inhale, both arms together. Exhale, the opposite arm down, a little side bend on the other side. Inhale, both arms up. 
Exhale, coming onto all fours, fluttering your eyes open. We're gonna move into a few cat cows, priming the spine, inhale, arch. Exhale, round it out and spread your fingers wide, making sure your knees are right under your hips and hands are right under your shoulders. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Tucking that tailbone, press into your hands. Grip your mat with your fingertips and your knuckles to take pressure off the wrists. Good. And then coming back to a neutral position, we're just gonna rock forward and back, priming our wrists and uh, stretching our forearms a little bit before we move into our, yes, we will warm up with our sun salutations. We'll just do three A's and do them, you know, at your own pace with your own breath. If you are starting to learn them, awesome. Good, fingers are out to the sides of your mat and we're just going side to side. And as always, down dog, if that's too much for you today, drop down into child's pose. Flip so that your fingers are pointed towards you and again, we're moving forward and back. Feel that stretch in your forearms. Imagine your breath is traveling there. Just this little bit of movement is so good for your elbows and your wrists. And now we're gonna flip one, and then you can control the pressure. There should be no pain, maybe just a gentle little stretch there. Good. And then switch. Good. All right, we're gonna move it right into down dog. And right off the bat, let's just pedal our heels up and down. Find your breath again, filling up the belly, the rib cage, the chest, pressing into those hands. Roll the shoulders away from your ears. And on the exhale, go a little deeper, pressing your armpits back towards your toes. On your inhale, belly, rib cage, chest, press into the hands. Exhale, chest, ribs pull in, belly tightens, pelvic floor tightens. One more breath here. And again, if this is too much for you, drop your heels, knees down, spread wide. And you can spend all down, all of the down dogs in child's pose if you like. You decide how you feel today. Good, inhale, looking forward, slowly walk your feet toward your hands. Flat back, looking forward. Exhale, forward fold, chest rests on the thighs, knees can be very bent. Inhale, reverse the swan dive. Exhale, swan dive it down, forward fold, chest onto your thighs. Inhale, flat back, looking forward. Exhale, plant those hands down, fingers spread wide, grip your mat. You can do this on your knees, lower, elbows close. You can hover above, or you can drop your belly to the floor and then lift into cobra or up dog if you're ready for that back bend. Glutes are engaged here. Inhale. Press up, exhale, pull your hips back, down dog, three breaths here, or child's pose, making sure to roll those ears away, those shoulders away from your ears and find your breath. Focusing on the third eye. Inhale, looking forward, slowly walk your feet towards your hands or float forward if you're ready for a little gentle hop. Flat back, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, reverse the swan dive. Exhale, forward fold, chest down to the thighs. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or float back. Lower in chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Number two of our sun salutations. Find your breath. Let yourself focus right behind the forehead. Imagining the breath on the inhale filling you up, traveling from your belly to your ribs, to your chest, all the way to your fingertips. And then exhale, chest, ribs, belly. I'd like to imagine my breath traveling to the backs of my legs, to the tight muscles in my hamstrings. Good. 
inhale, looking forward, slowly walk or float forward. I like to float sometimes by coming up onto my toes, bending my knees, using my core muscles, pressing into my hands. Nice, gentle hop. Flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly reverse the swan dive. One more sun salutation. Good, nice and slow and gentle. Inhale, step or float back. Coming down to the mat or hovering above and pulling through. Up dog, exhale, down dog. Let your hips pull you back. Three breaths here. Feel free to drop into child's pose. Find your breath. Listen to your sound of your breath as it travels down the back of your throat like it's the ocean. Inhale, looking forward. Slowly hop or float or step forward. Flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse that swan dive. Beautiful. And bring your hands down to heart and prayer. We're going to come into chair. Sitting back on those heels, making sure not to um, really stick your butt out or fully tuck it under. You want your spine in a nice neutral position. So just get into alignment maybe first. Shoulders are under your ears, ribs are over your hips. And then just bending those knees. Good, take a breath here, big inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, looking forward. Exhale, step or flow back, high plank. Lowering elbows close to your body. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, pull the hips back. We're gonna raise our right heel high, three-legged dog. Open the hips if you can. You can stay here, pressing into those fingertips that are spread wide. Your left quad is engaged. You can stay right here, or if you want, you can bend the knee and open up those hips even more by looking underneath your armpit. Taking a couple breaths here. Remembering to press the belly out on the breath, on the ribs. And then exhale, pull it all in. One more big breath. You got it. Press into that right hand, feel that stretch. Beautiful. Good, we're gonna stay on the right side. Extend that leg up. And from here, we're gonna take that right knee, pull it through to your nose and step it forward, coming into warrior one. So the back left foot comes to a 45 degree angle. And we're moving into warrior one. Take three breaths here. If at any moment you need to come out of it, that's okay. Just three breaths, you got this. And deeply into the right knee if you're feeling pretty good. That back left foot has a lot of energy, a lot of Engagement in the left in the left quad. Good. After three breaths, we're gonna open it up into warrior two. Good. We need to shift a little bit. It's okay. Good. Opening up those hips, opening up your heart, making sure your hands are right in line with your shoulders. Take a little peek back behind you. Good. Settle into it and find your breath. Let your shoulders relax down. A lot of energy through that back left foot, that left glute. Good. On your next inhale, you're gonna drop the left hand, the arm behind you on the leg that's extended behind you. Let your hand fall back and slide down your leg. Arm that's up, reaches toward the ceiling. Reverse warrior. Three breaths here. Back leg, back leg is working hard. Good. With every inhale, reach that arm. It's up high. Good. Now on the next inhale, we're gonna bring my right arm is coming down onto my thigh. Back arm behind me is reaching over my head, but the shoulder's still engaged. Don't let the arm shoulder get loosey goosey. Kind of pull it away from your ear. Maybe your gaze shifts up or underneath your armpit. Lots of energy. Left glute still working hard. Three breaths here. Extended side angle. You can go deeper if your hips will allow you to. If you can reach your ankle or the floor, 
It's okay if you can't, can't. It's okay, wherever you are. But try not to put too much weight on this front leg. Let that back leg do a lot of work still. You're doing great. Good. We're gonna come back into warrior two. One more breath here. Good. And warrior two for one breath. Big inhale. Exhale, sink in. Inhale, straighten out that front leg. Beautiful. Coming into star. So both feet are pointed forward. Both arms are extended out in line with our shoulders. Good. And then from here, we're going to just heel toe your feet in a little bit. So your feet now are angled 45 degree angle. We're just going to bend our knees coming into goddess. Okay. Good. Hands on our knees. Good. Reach the crown of your head to the ceiling. On your next inhale, take a big breath. Exhale, come into a twist. And then inhale back to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale back to center. Good. You got this. One more time each side. Good. Good. Raise it back up. Good. Slide those feet out a little bit more. We're going to come into a lateral lunge coming all the way down. Reach your hands to the floor. Good. I'm on my toes on my right side. If you can be, get your foot flat, that's amazing. If not, that's okay. The goal here is just to stretch out our adductors. Good. I'm just stretching out my calf a little bit by flexing and extending my foot. Whatever's comfortable for you. Find that breath. Good job. Working up a little heat. And then let's switch to the other side. Find your breath. You can even use that, um, your elbow to press the knee that's bent away from you. Beautiful. Okay, and raising it back up. We're going to heel toe it in. And we're going to move into just a yogi squat. Big breath in, and exhale it down. Good. However's comfortable for you. If it's not so comfortable, breathe through it, or you can come out of it. Sit yourself onto the floor. Should be no pain. Wherever you are is perfect. Just the fact that you're taking the time to pay attention to your body is a win. Okay. Awesome. One more breath here. We're going to place our hands down, grip our mat, step it back into a high, lunge, high plank, lowering chaturanga. Again, you can always do this on your knees. Just try to keep your spine in a nice, neutral position. Never have your butt too high or too low. Okay, go ahead. Lowering your belly to the floor or hover above if you want the challenge. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths here. Or maybe drop it down into child's pose before you move to the left side. Same thing on the left side. And you're doing awesome. And after this, we'll move to some easier, more relaxing postures. Just building up some heat, some strength through the hips. Sometimes we want to do not just stretch, but strengthen. One more breath here. We're going to inhale, so maybe back in down dog if you're not here already. We're going to inhale, left heel comes high, we're three-legged dog, and then opening up the hips, pressing into the left hand, and you point that left toe, maybe your gaze shifts to look underneath your left, that left armpit, maybe your left knee bends, and find your breath. Breathe into the belly and the ribs. Left fingertips are really active. Press into that left hand. Beautiful. All right. Unravel yourself from here. Left knee moves towards the nose and steps through. Even if you have to wiggle that foot up, that's fine. Back right foot is at a 45 degree angle. We're moving into warrior one. Three breaths here. Your hands could be right under your shoulders or you can move them together. 
Bend deeply into that left knee, very active back leg. So your glutes are engaged, your quads are engaged, the side of your foot is really pushing into your mat. Roll those shoulders away from your ears. Smile. You've got it. One more breath. Good. Inhale, moving into Warrior Two. Shift around whatever you need to do. Take a peek behind you as your right hand in line with the right shoulder. A lot of energy through that middle finger. Good. Maybe bend a little deeper into the left knee if you have, if you can. Take a break if you need to. Come out of it for a moment. Move back in. Good. One more breath. On your next inhale, right hand slides down the back of your right leg. Left arm reaches high. Shoulders active. Three breaths here. You've got this. Focus on that breath. Strengthening those hips before I really stretch them out. Good. Good. Left elbow moves on top of the Left side, the right arm comes up over our ear. Keep that shoulder rolled away from your ear. Maybe your gaze shifts. Find your breath. You've got this. Two more breaths. You can do it. Good. Inhale, warrior two. One breath here. Big breath. And straighten out that left leg. Whew. Okay. And you're moving into star. So both our arms are right in line with our shoulders, our legs are extended. Beautiful, we're gonna maybe heel toe in a little bit. Now we're gonna move into goddess again. So just bending those knees, hands come onto our thighs, big breath in. And this time as we exhale, let's twist the right shoulder in. Inhale, lengthen to the center, exhale, twist, opposite side, inhale back to the center. Two more times each side. I try to go nice and deep. If you can, you've got this. Okay. <laughs> Inhale. Extend those legs. Ooh, good. Heel toed in a little bit. We're moving into a yogi squat. Oh, before we would do that, sorry. Heel toed back out and we're going to come into a side lunge, lateral lunge. Ah, and enjoy this release here. Let those shoulders relax. Let your forehead relax. Imagine your breath traveling to the adductor, that inner thigh muscle. Good. Inhale, straighten out those legs. Exhale, extend opposite leg. Find your breath. Try and let your belly fill up and relax on the inhale. Awesome. Coming back up to center. Now we're heel toeing it in. I'm just staying in forward fold just because it feels good. My, I don't have such tight hips a little bit, but for me it's really all about the hamstrings and glutes. All right, moving into the yogi squat. Take three breaths here. Try to let that belly relax on the inhale. Always so used to trying to have a flat looking belly or a tight core, or I am at least. But sometimes it's a challenge to really relax it. Beautiful. Bring your hands down in front of you, stepping it back into a high plank, gripping that mat with your fingertips and knuckles, and the voice, lowering elbows close to your body. Inhaling up dog or cobra and staying here for a moment. All right, we did some good hip strengthening. Now we're going to move into some deeper stretches. One more breath here. Curl your toes underneath you and pull your hips back for down dog. Inhale the right heel high. Exhale. We're going to take that knee to nose and then actually want to move that right foot to the outside of your right hand and then drop your back left knee, moving into lizard. Good. And we're staying here for a little bit. Good. The goal here is 
to be pressing your hips towards your mat. Be gentle with yourself. It doesn't have to be overly aggressive. Just if you feel a stretch, then just stop there. Good. And find your breath. The magic's in the breath. So try to let that belly relax on the inhale. If you want to go a little deeper, you can put your right hand on your right foot and turn toward your knee. You can even press that knee away from you and go a little deeper into a twist. Whatever feels good to you, play around, you know? Um, do you wanna turn away from your knee and press the knee away with your elbow? Beautiful. All right, awesome. Uh, curl that left toe underneath. We're gonna step it right back into down dog. Pedal those heels a little bit. Raise the left heel high. Good. Hold the knee forward, moving to lizard on the left side. So get that left foot to the outside of your left hand, however you need to do it. Take your time. It's gentle yoga. Good. Back knee drops. Find your breath. Relax into it. This feels really good. It's the, the three breath rule, but if you want to stay here longer, wonderful. Always imagining our breath travel to wherever feels tight. Remember, every time we fill up our belly and our ribs with breath, letting those muscles really relax, you're letting your diaphragm do its job, which is to relax all the muscles that are attached to it. That, that diagram is going to send the message to the brain to relax. All right. Beautiful. All right, so from here, we're moving back into down dog. So you need to take a breath here or a child's pose if you need it. This time we're going to inhale our right heel high again. This time the knee comes right to the center and we drop down into pigeon. So knee is forward. Ah, oh, good. My, now I need this after all of that difficult, the standing, challenging poses. This feels really good. So I'm going to inhale and lengthen the crown of my head to the ceiling. Exhale and just bring to wherever's comfortable for you. If this is good right here, that's enough. That's great. Maybe you come to your forearms or maybe you can even bring your forehead onto your hands, stack them up. Maybe you need a little pillow to just let yourself melt into this position. Remembering, don't move the nails, relax the belly. On the exhale, then we tighten. Relax your shoulders away from the ears. Focus on that third eye and the sound of your breath. Thoughts enter, just observe, and refocus on your breath. It's always interesting to me on a stressful day when I come into my center room and try to quiet my mind. What then I'll start to notice? What am I thinking about? What am I what's my mind on a loop about? And the goal is to focus on the breath. Give yourself a break from that loop. yourself here. Curl your back toes underneath you. Stepping back into down dog. Take a breath here. We inhale the left heel high. Left knee to nose. Moving to pigeon. Good. Give yourself a moment to settle in here. All right. It's okay if your hips are not touching the ground. It's okay however you are. You just want to try to get as comfortable as you can. 
can stay right here. This side is like a lot tighter for me. So I'm gonna slowly move my way down, nice and slow, imagining my breath starting to loosen up those muscles. Relax the belly. Let yourself sink. It's a good position. You should really try to exaggerate the expansion of the belly and the ribs on the inhale. of your mat, bending your knees and bringing your sit bones to your mat. We're going to move into, um, extend one leg out in front of you. I'm extending my left leg out and I'm going to try to take my, the sole of my foot into the crease of my elbow. If you can't do that, you can just hold the sole of your foot. We're going to try to rock, cradle, cradle the baby, rock it. Good. So I've got the sole of my foot in the crook of my elbow, my knee in the crook of the other one. And rocking back and forth. And maybe even pull this your calf and shin toward you. Getting a nice stretch in the back of your leg. Should be no pain. If this doesn't feel good to you. You could always just let this um, leg rest on the floor. Inhale, lengthen. Maybe do a side stretch or just a forward fold. Rock this a little bit more. This one's not doing a whole lot for me. If, this, if you like this one though, take three breaths here. I'm gonna try the other side. It's my tighter side. Okay, let's see. All right. A little stretch in the glute. All right, let's move into butterfly. Soles of the feet are gonna come together. Inhale, lengthen the crown of the head to the ceiling. Exhale, just bending right at the waist here, using those elbows to press your knees down if you can. If you can't, that's okay. Just try to, I like to hold on to my feet so I can get really get a good extension of my spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. Bring your chin to your chest a little bit so your spine is right in alignment. And find your breath. Let your belly relax and inhale. I say it because I often, even though I do it a lot, I need the reminders. Relax the belly. And exhale, relax the shoulders, and then tighten everything. Get rid of all that air. Good. Moving the feet away from us. Now round the spine and build into it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's move into dragonfly. Spread those legs wide and bring your hands behind you to lengthen on the inhale. And then exhale, bending at the waist. Try not to round the back here. Just inhale, lengthen, exhale, go a little deeper. It doesn't have to be very deep. Again, remembering to relax that belly on the inhale. My feet are pulled towards me, flexed, my toes, my toes I mean. Good. All right, and we're gonna, before I move 
into happy baby and then corpse. Just want to show one more deep hip stretch. This one's really deep. It's called frog. So starting off on all fours, but then you just spread your knees wide. So this is kind of intense. I just want to show you. You can try it or not try it. You can also do it one leg at a time. So you can extend one leg behind you and the other one it allows you to go a little deeper there and relax into it better. So you can play around with that. Maybe do a couple breaths on one side, a couple on the other. Single leg frog. If you just at the end of the night before bed, your hips feel tight or you're feeling um, a little tense and stressed, you can do that one in bed. Let's go back to full frog for two breaths. Again, relax the belly, a lot of weight on the forearms here. You can, can control how deep you go. Imagine your breath traveling to wherever you're tight. Gently, gently move yourself out of this position and extend your hips back, moving into child's pose. Arms extended in front of you. Maybe drop the elbows and let those shoulders sink down. bones down, moving into happy baby. So coming back onto our backs. So this one, if this is where a strap could come in handy if you have a hard time reaching. We're, our, we're bending our knees so either knee comes to the other, um, the outside of our body. You hold on to your calves, your ankles, or the outside of your feet. If this is a little challenging, you just can't get into it. You could do it one leg at a time, just like with frog. If that's just too much, too too tight to get there. One leg at a time, you can wrap the strap around one foot and hold on to the strap. Pull that knee, use the muscles of your arm to pull that knee towards the ground. Breathe into it. Relax the belly. It's okay if your opposite hip is raised up. The goal is not to have that hip touch your mat. It doesn't matter. The goal is to pull the knee toward the mat. Relax your face, give them a smile. And then try the other side. If you're just in happy baby, on um, full happy baby, that's great, just stay there. If you're doing one leg at a time, let's switch. soles of the feet down to the ground. Extend both legs to either corner of your mat, moving into Savasana, corpse pose. Let your feet just splay open. The palms of your hands be raised towards the ceiling. Relax on either side of your body. Close your eyes. Good. Gazing at that third eye right behind the center of your forehead in between your eyebrows. Let your breath relax. It's normal breathing. And with every inhale, think about what you want to invite in. Patience, love. Kindness with every exhale. Release tension. Release self doubt. Invite in. 
meditation and slowing down. I release rushing, frustration. Ten more breaths here. As the video ends, stay in Savasana for a few minutes. Count your ten breaths. Allow yourself this time. And thanks for joining me.